Well, it looks like it's that time again to do my weekly meat shopping. Oh man, it looks like the meat shop's closed. Are you serious? Oh, it must be because of this crappy weather. What's over here anyways? Storage? Uh, why is it open? Um, do I really want to? I'll go in. Oh, oh god. What kind of place is this? Oh my god, cows, pigs, and chickens, they're all dead and skinned alive. Uh, oh god, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out. Oh, what kind of place is this? They're feeding us zombies? Oh my god! What's up guys, it's Ian, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Mod Spotlight. I know I haven't done one of these in a really, really long time, and I apologize for that, but uh, let's get on with the show. So the mod I'm going to be reviewing today is the Meat Hooks mod by SW Switch or Swiss Switch, and it's for Minecraft 1.6.4. And pretty much what this mod does is it adds meat hooks and different ways to pretty much make and preserve your meat and cook your meat as well, which also adds a spit to the to the mod and an ice box and a meat cleaver and a bunch of cool things pretty much gives the ability to be a butcher which I think is really awesome so let's get into the meat and potatoes of the video so the very first thing you're going to do obviously to get your meat is you're going to need to kill some animals I have some nice victims that sadly are going to die I'm very sorry guys but this is for the mod I am so sorry so I'm gonna kill a few of these animals let's see I'll kill uh let's see okay that's enough for now Piggy, don't go away. So now as you guys saw, it actually dropped something a little bit different than a normal- Hey! Hey, Mr. Chicken, what- what- what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Anyways, <laughs> so, yeah, as you guys saw, it dropped a dead pig and a dead cow carcass instead of the normal meat that you would drop. So now, with these carcasses, you're going to need to basically hang them up with a meat hook. Let's get these out of the way. So to craft a meat hook, you're going to need four iron ingots just like this. That's going to give you this, which is amazing. And to pretty much hang your meat, you're going to need to make something similar to this, maybe a pillar of like four or five wood blocks or any kind of blocks for that matter. And you're going to place your hook just like this and just like this so as you guys see there are two different ways to preserve your meat one is through lava you're going to need a lava pool just like this three or uh, two or three blocks above your dead carcass now the second way which I think is a little bit more efficient is to get ice all the way around have it one block touching the carcass so these are two ways to preserve your meat and pretty much if you do both these uh, methods your meat will pretty much never rot now if it does rot and you uh, chop the meat with your meat cleaver which I'll show in a little bit later that's going to give you some rotten meat and that's not what you want you want fresh meat am I right or am I right so Basically what you're going to do, hold on guys, I'm going to need to maybe place this just a little bit higher. And uh, there you go. So now you have your cow hanging like this. And you're going to need to, let's see here, I'm going to need to place it just a little bit higher. I guess my placements were a little bit off. Anyways, there you go. You're going to also need a, an ice block up there. But uh, yeah, it's going to work either way, I'm pretty sure. Ice just needs to be touching most of the way around. So now I have my dead cow carcass and my dead pig carcass. And uh, now I'm going to need two tools to pretty much get the meat that I want. So I'm going to need a fillet knife and a meat cleaver. Now the crafting recipes for that is over there, Mr. Chicken. Are you serious? Yeah, get lost. Anyways, so you're going to need a meat cleaver and to craft it is just like this. And you're going to need a fillet knife. The craft is two iron ingots and a stick just like that. All right, let's go over here. I have them in the chest right here. So... Here you go. So, now the first tool is the flay knife. And what you're going to do with that is you're going to pretty much skin your animal. And as you saw, I skinned it and I also get a piece of leather, which I think is pretty good. Makes sense. And let's skin the pig over here. And apparently he doesn't drop anything, but now they have no fur on their body. So now, guess what time it is, guys? It is now time to use the meat cleaver. And use the meat cleaver, you're going to cut them. And oh man, look at that. I dropped a bunch of stuff. I also got some bone too. So as you guys saw, I got three raw beef and two bones from that. So that's pretty cool. I can also probably make some bone meal with that. But yeah, you get a lot more uh, meat drops from doing this method, which is really good. So there you go. I'm going to get... Uh, can I get that last one? No! Anyways, okay, apparently I can't get that. Okay, actually, I can just fly up and get it. Whatever. <laughs> so yeah, so I got three drops from each. But sometimes you can even get more. I heard sometimes you can even get four, which is pretty good. Apparently I didn't get any bones from that 
pig, but okay. So now I have my meat, and one cool feature that they added, regularly you can cook it normally, or one cool feature that they added is uh, your meat is actually going to rot in a normal inventory. So if I put some beef or some pork in this inventory, like this chest, eventually it's going to rot and it's not going to be good to eat. So what you're going to need to make now is a ice box or an ice chest. And to craft that, here's a craft recipe for that. You're going to need four pieces of ice, four iron ingots, and a chest in the middle. And now when you put this meat in there, your meat will now be nice and cool and it will never rot, which I think is a pretty good deal in my opinion. Don't you think? You want your meat not to rot? I think so. So now there's actually one cool way that this mod added to cook your meat, okay? Let me go grab this dead cow carcass over here. No, no. You stay. Oh, wow. Now he's like glitching. Anyways, so yeah, there's a cool thing they added to this mod to cook your meat. And which, what you can do now is actually put the animals on a spit and rotate it to cook your meat. So what you're going to need to do to make that spit is you're going to need two things. A spit and two spit props. To make the spit, you're going to need three sticks. So that's going to give you the spit. And you're going to need two spit props. And then you're going to make it a Y shape of sticks. That's going to give you a spit, spit prop. Spit prop, that's kind of a... A little bit hard to say, but uh, yeah, so let's go into uh, game mode Let's go into game mode zero here just because it's a little bit glitched when you put it in game mode one I'm not sure why but uh, yeah You know what I actually messed that up Let's see if I could break it. All right. Well, apparently I was supposed to hold on guys. Let's go back into game game mode one here Okay Okay I'm going to need another spit prop. I messed that up. Let's see here. Okay, it should. Place it like this. Alright, and then... Voila! Just like that. So I got my spit up and ready. And now what you're going to need to do is get your dead cow. And right click, and there you go. Let's go into game mode 0 real quick. My bad. Game mode... Come on. Game mode 0. Okay. So... Oh, it's starting to rain. Curse you, weather. Okay, now while well, that's stopping, so now I have my cow on the spit, and uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to left click it, uh -oh, just like that, and voila, look at that baby spin, can't wait to get that lovely meat, I'm not sure how many spins it takes, and sometimes varies depending on, sometimes it's random, and a lot of the times it depends on the animal, so like a cow is a pretty big animal, so it sometimes takes a few spins so uh, I'll be back when it's cooked and I'll actually tell you guys how much it's going to spin oh never mind it's just as I said that it's cooked so there you go here's your cooked meat now what you're gonna need to do is now get your meat cleaver right click and oh man hopefully it fell in the fire it fell in the fire oh my god well that was a bad demonstration but you guys kind of get it again I think it dropped about four there yeah, make sure your meat doesn't drop in the fire. I think maybe you should probably put out the fire before. But, uh, yeah, I think you guys get it. I mean, I dropped way more meat than normally would. And come on, guys. Wouldn't that just be amazing? It's such a cool setup to cook your meat. I'm not going to lie. But anyways, guys, I think that's about it for this awesome mod. I really recommend you guys checking it out. And also, please give, this like, give that like button a smack. I would really appreciate it if you liked it. Love your faces and encourage me to make more awesome Minecraft videos and mod spotlights for that matter. But anyways, guys, that's about it. I will see you guys next time later and thanks for watching.